In this video, we'll learn the subtract two digit numbers. We use subtraction in everyday life, especially when it comes to money. So we have a certain amount or a budget and we spend some money. So when we need to work out what we have left, we use subtraction. This is just one example, but there are many other examples in everyday life. I will use three methods to explain subtraction. One of them is the column method. I'll start off with that. So I've got two examples. 25 take away 13 is the first one. So I'll start by representing 25 using cubes. So I've got so two lots of 10 and there are five single cubes in there. I need to take away 13 from that. So I'll start from the units because I may not be able to take away enough. And we'll see what that means. So I've got five. I need to take away three. There is one, two, three. I've taken away three. So that's left me with two. So there is two. Now I've got two of these sets of 10 and then I need to take away one so I'll take away one what do I have left is just one of them so I'll make that a 12 so 25 take away 13 leaves me with, with 12 so let's recap we took away three from the five and we had two left we will take away one from the two and we had one left now we've got 42 take away 19 so i'll do the same thing and represent 42 using the cubes so i have four lots of 10 and two single cubes i need to take away 19 so nine to take away from two Am I able to do that? I can take away one or two, but not any more than that. So what I will need to do is borrow a set of 10 or a lot of 10 from the tens here, which means that I'll transfer this over to the units. So that has now become 12 because I've got 10 and the two that makes 12. So, so what is happening to the four now is that it has actually become three because we have only three lots of ten. So this four becomes a three because we actually gave one lot of this to the units, to the two, which became twelve. So now from the twelve we can take away nine. So we have twelve. This one in itself is 10. So if I remove one of these, that means I'm taking away nine and there is one left, two, three. So 12 take away nine, left me with three. Now I've got three of these as shown here and I'll take away one so if I take away one I'm left with two and I'll write that down so my answer is 23 so let's recap what I did there I had 42 take away 19 I tried to take away nine from the two but there wasn't enough so I borrowed one lot of 10 from the 4 so that became 12 and the 4 became a 3 so 12 now take away 9 gave me 3 3 take away 1 gave me 2 so this is how you use the column method to subtract I'll look at two more examples to illustrate so we have 35 take away 26 so we've got 6 to be taken away from 5 
but that is not possible because 6 is bigger than 5 so I'm going to have to borrow one lot from 3 so 3 becomes a 2 and 5 becomes 15 15 take away 6 gives me 9 and 2 take away 2 leaves me with 0 and I don't need to write that number in front so my answer would be 9 We'll now look at how to subtract two digit numbers using the partition method. So I will split 25 into 20 and 5 and 13 into 10 and 3. So 20 take away 10 leaves me with 10. 5 take away 3 gives me 2. So my answer is 12. Now I've got 42, which I'll split into 40 and 2. 39 into 30 and 9. I will now, if I take away 30 from the 40, that leaves me with 10, but I can't take away 9 from the 2. So I'm going to have to change this slightly. So I make this into 30 and 12. It still makes 42. Because then it's going to be easy to take away 9 from the 12. So 30, take away 30, leaves me with 0. 12, take away 9, leaves me with 3. So my answer is 3. So this is how you use the partition method for subtracting numbers. In this video we'll learn to subtract two digit numbers using the number line method. So we've got 25 take away 13. I'll start off with 25 and I will take away 10 first because 13 is made of 10 and 3 so I'll take away 10 to go to 15 and then take away 3 to go to 12 so my answer is 12 now I'll do the same with the 42 take away 39 so in my mind I've got 39 it's got 10 and 10 and 10 and 9 so I'll start with 42 take away 10 that gives me 32 take away 10 that gives me 22 and another 10 that gives me 12 now from that I take away 9 and that leaves me with 3 so my answer is 3 for this so this is how you use the number line method to subtract